Hi friends, Sandra from Four Year Chi. This is your weekly tarot and oracle card reading for the week of September 18th. <clears throat> Excuse me. 2023. Apologies for the lateness. My youngest isn't feeling well. So I've been caretaking. Um, and you may have heard the echoes of this eclipse coming up. So... I'm hearing it from many of you going through eclipse type shit. But regardless, it looks like we have a pretty good week considering the circumstances. So I will take that. Monday, Tuesday has pretty much already passed by the time I'm recording this. But nevertheless, we have the three of cups rejoice in celebration here. Um, you could be, you could have had some sort of, um, you know, business lunch meeting. There could have been a dinner. There could have been an anniversary or a birthday that you've celebrated, um, Monday or Tuesday, or perhaps you've been invited to something. You've received an invitation. There are helpful people around you. You could be celebrating something else, um, that's in your midst. Now, this is the biggie here. We know, for those of you that have watched me for so long, this is the Ten of Cups in traditional tarot, Foundations and Achievements, Happy Life, Happy Family. This card is being highlighted here this week, and I'll tell you why. Because in my clearing shuffle, this card flew out of the deck onto the floor, face up. So good news, Wednesday, Thursday, this could be really good news for those of you that are waiting for some sort of transactional thing to happen, contract to be signed, money to come in, sale taking place. Um, you know, for those of you who have been wanting and trying to move, you could receive good news regarding that this week, especially midweek, um, because this is my real estate card. They're telling you to remain positive. So now this could be a direct result of Mercury going direct this week, where you've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and finally you get some news that comes in from, you know, your realtor, your lawyer, whoever. And then you're thinking to yourself, well, what's the catch, right? But they're telling you to remain positive, and so shall it be. Okay, don't be... Don't be pessimistic or skeptical at all midweek. Now, I love this weekend card. If the midweek wasn't good, check out the weekend. Wow. Okay, crown chakra, F Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This is your shower thoughts, aha, uh -huh, epiphany moment. Information is coming in from the higher power in the form of thoughts that are dropped into your mind. Do not dismiss them. Do not second guess them. Write them down as soon as you possibly can and put those uh, pieces of information into action as soon as you possibly can. Sometimes this is information about you need to research a certain subject or dig into a certain subject further to get more information about things. Now, I'll give you an example of this, and this came in for me two years ago in October when I received the information about getting anti-EMF gear and shungite for my mom, who was experiencing um, a, a horrible bout of AFib, and... Um, at the time that I received the information, I didn't even know that EMF radiation from a cell phone could trigger AFib. I had no idea be because I didn't know that much about it, to be honest with you. But in hindsight, it was absolutely correct. I mean, if you, <coughs> excuse me, if you Google it, it actually, the first thing will come up and you have to know what to Google, right? So I believe the phrases that I Googled was uh, EMF triggers AFib symptoms or something. 
And the first thing that came up was EMF to a certain degree, it was a decimal point, uh, can trigger AFib, where my mother never had AFib before until she got a cell phone upgrade. But if you, and so I was kind of shocked by the information because the way that it came in, I knew that it would be accurate because where else is it going to come from? But the heart itself is an electrical system. And so other electrical things and systems can affect that. Makes sense, doesn't it? So that's what I mean by sometimes you'll get information that's you think it's so far out. Where did this come from? This can't be correct. But then you actually look it up and then you realize, holy shit, it's right. I was right. That's the amazing epiphany moments, uh, at least one example. Let me know in the comments or shoot me a line another way of what's happening to you, what information you're getting, and how you're following up on it. Scorpio minds want to know these things. Take care, everyone.